Hi, thanks for joining me. And let's paint some leaves. I will put all of the information about the tools that I will be using today in the description below. But for now, um, the brush that I'm using is a number four round brush. And the set that I'm using here is a Holbein watercolor set. And um, make sure you have your water handy. I will be working in a sketchbook because I love working in sketchbooks. It's great to work in the sketchbook because you can see your progress as you go along. So it's always good to, um, you know, take notes of the things you like, the things you don't like. Um, sketchbooks are great with that. So yeah, have water handy and we will begin painting and practicing some leaves. Now, these I like to do this when sometimes when I have like no idea what to paint. So this is a fun little drill. What you do is get your brush nice and juicy and let's go ahead and try to just very lightly with the tip, make some nice lines just with the tip of your round brush. Just make nice lines. It feels very good doing these. Try to see, challenge yourself, see how thin you can go. Right, so just do a few of those. I'm trying to go really thin here. And just, it's great to do this so you can know what your brush can do. So really thin lines at first, and then same green. We're going to lay it down now. Press down, smush. I like to call that smushing. So just smush your brush down. See how cool that is already? I love the pooling of the colors. Um, yeah, so a round brush is super powerful. You can go really, really thin. And then there is a um, an ability to go um, thicker, so that is fun. These are already looking like leaves, and we're just practicing drills, so that's pretty cool. Back to doing some thin lines. A few more of those. really thin lines see if you can do those all right so like I said these drills are a lot of fun to do especially if you're not feeling like painting that day just try to do some of these drills um, I took a different green and I'm just laying it down smushing it the paint down press and lift that movement of pressing and lifting almost gives you instant leaves back to straight lines just to practice there is something about filling a whole page of just these marks that are really really fun continue on with the smushing and if you get tired of the certain green pick a different color to use that would inspire you I just picked green since we're doing leaves so but not all leaves are green so some leaves are a different color so you could do a purple there if you want or a brown even reddish. All right. Now we are going to go and just add a few more of these little guys in here. Like I said, I really love how I know I don't know some people don't like the pulling at the top, but to me it, it's kind of cool. 
I'm also trying to see how far my uh, paints will go for this one. I'm starting over at the, I filled it up totally with pigment and then I'm trying to see how far the pigment can go. And I'm really interested in all those little dry brush marks, which kind of gives a impression of light, which I like. So I'm also seeing and twisting here now, pressing and twisting, just to see what the brush can do. Okay, now we'll go sideways, we'll do a line then smush down, then try to lift, and then smush. It's almost like a dance. Line, smush. Nice line. Oh, look at that. I love it when they interact like that too. That's what makes watercolor so fun, is all of the dancing it does. Ah, one of my favorite things. Okay, try a different green, just to change it up and do some more of these lines and smushes. Thin line, and then smush. Thin smush it down yeah hopefully you're getting the hang of how your brush is working try a different well here we'll do it a little bit longer see how long you can go and then maybe yeah let's mix a couple different greens I love how they all mix together. It's so fun. I'll put the in the description the different um, colors that I'm using also, just in case you are interested in that. All right. That is the first part of our practice. Next, let us do some of the actual leaves so we're gonna do what well, we practice right up at the top just a line and then smush so as you can see it's already it's almost like it's doing its own thing you just let the brush do the work smush it on one side smush it on the other Nice thin line, smush on one side, lift your brush, smush on the other side. Line down, smushing, and smushing again. Pressing down, I guess you could also say. <laughs> but smush sounds more fun to say different green here just for variety oh I love that I love how sometimes watercolors you just can't control the pigment stays in different parts I mean I'm sure you can control it but I love how um, it's unpredictable sometimes so this one is two-toned One, um, yeah, just press and smush. So just taking a variety of different colors, the different greens, and just smushing it down. One side darker, one side lighter. So yeah, it really, you're, you're, um, like I said, just let the brush do the work. Okay, let's do longer leaves so this one just draw a line and then smush a little longer and then lift line smush and lift like so I 
I was a former um, elementary teacher and so these drills like you know the practicing of penmanship I used to have to teach penmanship and cursive and having them practice these lines well practice the lines was really fun for me I don't know <laughs> that it was fun for them but it was satisfying for you know to see the progress just by them practicing so yeah practice away this I am doing a wet to wet technique where the paint is still wet and then I'm dropping in a different color pigment just to see now I'm just really playing just trying to push and see what the paint can do and that is the power of a sketchbook you don't have to feel like you're finishing anything or making anything perfect you are just really having fun and playing all right let's do a few more varieties here really thin then we'll add some branches which it's so easy we practice it above just lines going down so a thin line and then just some little little lines touching it touching your branch connecting them I can't decide whether I'd like to go from bottom to top or top to bottom so you play with that and see what you like best this one will make a little different we'll smush a little bit not too much but just a little bit instead of making it really thin we're just smushing a little bit smushing up this feels good for me going from top to bottom but you figure out what you like best by playing. So now let's do a little bit more. And the same kind of thing. We're just making our leaves a little bit more substantial and just having them meet in the middle. different green there let's see what this one looks like then we'll put some longer branches well longer leaves we'll elongate those leaves instead of short ones just have fun with it just have fun going from one side pulling up see what your brush can do that's fun I could just fill a whole page of those really weird leaves love it different color here Playing around with combining colors just to see how they play together. So, yeah, we've done a few different leaf practices already, and we're just kind of combining them all together. So, hopefully, your page is filling up with some leaves. Your grow your gardening. Well, it's not quite flowers yet, but I think leaves are still gardening. I would I would say those are gardening. You're gardening on paper. All right, so this one is I'm trying to do two colors together, making a thicker leaf, and I'm gonna mix the media here. I'm gonna take uh, this is a watercolor Winston Newton Winston Newton watercolor pencil. I'm just going to dip it right into my water. That's how I typically use it. And this is where I mix the media because I can't just 
use watercolor I for some reason have to add more so I usually use this for details oh man I just love how it works with the watercolor So yeah, typically I will add it after, or I start with the watercolor pencil, or watercolor, yeah, watercolor pencil, and see um, if I like putting it down first, and see how you can like um, get some pigment out of it by wetting it, so it spreads, and then you can drop another color in there. It's really up to you, but um, yeah, if you want to grab some of these watercolor pencils, they are fun. And I will put that info in the description. Great, we now have a page of flowers. Whoops, <laughs> a page of leaves. <laughs> All right, so let's turn that sketchbook over. I always do this. I tend to use both sides of my sketchbook. And um, now let's just have some fun. I'm going to just fill this page with some leaves. Okay, try to get myself situated here to make sure I have everything just so sometimes you have to adjust a lot to well I do to make everything feel comfortable and right so bear with me and now I am just going to have fun so I love how um, sometimes the brush just becomes dried and uh, gives you those little broken marks at the end there so don't ever be afraid of those that it just gives your leaves character um, yeah so I'm just gonna go through here maybe try different colors um, add more leaves I usually use uh, tissue paper to add texture too that's a, a really cool little tool and I'll talk more about that in future videos and now mix the media this is the same thing that I used before the Windsor Newton watercolor pencil great for adding details or just mark making really that's what I love to do is just making marks too super fun just have a good time and yeah, just fill a page with leaves. I'd love to see what you make. So I will also put, um, I would love for you to share what you've done um, on Instagram if you hashtag it painting with joy. That'd be great. Or we will be starting a Facebook group if you and I'll put a link of that too in the bio if you feel like wanting to share what you have done your page of leaves your indoor paper gardening I would love to see that that would just make my day these blue leaves are really fun Yeah, so I'm just going to go through here and add all sorts of different leaf shapes. It's also fun just to do those original ones that we did, just the pressing down, just to fill a page. Or even add those little lines, but instead of long, make them short. Just making marks as we go along. And if yours does not look exactly like mine, do not worry. Um, these things come when you practice. It's not like my first few leaves were not like this at all. Um, 
This is after practicing for, I don't know, I started in 2015. I started a watercolor journey because I was afraid of watercolor, so I decided to try a 30-day project in 2015, a little bit before that, like I think I started in December of 2014, but 2015, 2014, and then, yeah, I've been going ever since, so don't give up, just keep practicing. And if you have other colors in your palette, try them all as leaves. Because you never know. I mean, like, these blue leaves are really, really fun. Oh, man. Really fun to do. So, as you can see, I'm just doing a lot of pressing down, smushing the paint. experimenting on one side what happens if I press down on one side what happens if I um, you know add more water to it what happens if I smush press and then lift again or try to draw another line So this one is a lot of pigment, and I'm just seeing how far it can go. So paint, and then this one, it's kind of fun to see, just experimenting to see what will happen if you add more wet into wet. All right, let's see here some more do some branchy things or piney things skinnier leaves <laughs> And it does not have to be perfect. Like I said, this is just for you, just for fun. Okay, taking my watercolor pencil here, just dipping it in water, and then making marks. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial um, how to practice some leaves hopefully you get a page full of leaves and if you don't know what to paint practice leaves they're a lot of fun play around like here I'm dropping it into the wet gray yeah try purple <laughs> Try all sorts of color. So I hope you enjoy that. And I will be back next week for some more tips and tricks. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss um, the release of the episodes. And yeah, thank you again. Until next time. Bye.